Finally, at long last, the Festivus Part 2 is out, even though it's on a different channel. It just didn't make sense. I'm done putting non-gaming related stuff on my, my first channel. Although this does have gameplay, so it's kind of in the middle there. Who gives a crap? So, last time on Festivus, uh, I was, we were having the airing of grievances at my ex-girlfriend's house. So, yeah, that happened. I was... We're just gonna get into the story, so let's go. So I believe the part where I left off last is everyone is giving their airings of grievances which is telling the people you care about how much they've let you down by the way. And we're all telling each other at my ex-girlfriend's house. I don't think that her parents knew that we were that like last year that we were dating or anything but meh. So one more thing to recap is that the person that also dumped her was there, so the three of us were all there together giving our airings of grievances. So I started, and I told everyone that they need to be honest with each other, because this is of course the one time a year when you can be honest about how much you've disappointed each other. So everyone hammers my acne, because I had much worse acne at the time, I made fun of my hair. Which is aw- I like my hair by the way, it's really- it's awesome. So I- I just got humiliated in front of all of my friends, and then it's finally uh, my ex-girlfriend's time to give her airing of grievance towards me. And then she turns towards me and just says, you know, I don't really know if I know you that well enough to give you a grievance. Which is insulting because we had texted constantly the year before, but... I digress. We finished up the airing of grievances feeling different. I mean, like, we're, we were very close friends, all of us at this time, and then we just made each other feel bad. And so what happened was some of the, uh, I had probably about half of them were girls. So we're packing up from my ex-girlfriend's house, codename Erebus, and half of them just decide, you know what, I'm tired of waiting for everybody, so they just start walking back to the original point where we were at. And then, the one girl that was actually left over was Erebus, which is my ex-girlfriend. So she had to walk back with the, all the guys, including me, myself, which she had dumped, and the guy that had dumped her. It was so much fun fun for her. I mean, it came up a couple times. She basically just wandered by herself, but then we decided, you know what, hey, there's, there is a Sierra's house right there, and her mom had just offered us hot cocoa beforehand, so we're like, fine, we're taking your freaking cocoa. After all of this, we finally headed back to the house, and we were it was in an uncomfortable situation, so we were happy to get back with the rest of the team. And plus, myself, I myself was kind of worried because I was in charge of this group and then we all got separated. They weren't there at the house. We don't know where the heck they went. But then we go in and we start playing Smash Bros. We're pl so there was... A she was the only one that couldn't play Smash Bros. Was and here's the thing. We were really, really loud playing Smash Bros. My older brother had his friends over, and they were older and more mature than us, but they're... And they were... They, they listened to us. And they were annoyed. Annoyed. My dad wanted to do some more Festivus stuff upstairs, so he called us up, and they gave us death stares. These people thought they were more mature than us. And the second part of Festivus is this thing called the Feats of Strength. And the rule of the feats of strength is the night is not over until someone pins the host, which was me. Or you could also count my brother the host. And we wanted to fight each other at this point. And then my other friends came in the door and they're like, Hey, we just got, we got a Coco at Sierra's house. 
And we had just missed them because as soon as we got in there, the second group of friends went in Sierra's house for some hot cocoa. And this stayed pretty long because of, I, I don't blame them because we played freaking Smash Bros at my house. So they walk in the door and my dad's like really happy. He he points to them, he's like, hey, you guys wanna do the feats of strength this? And they they did they were girls. They don't fight each other. So it got to the point where the group I don't know if it was joking or not, but I was pretty close friends with this person named Lorena Sita at the time. And everyone wanted us to fight each other for some reason. How oh, why? You don't fight your female friends. Everybody knows. It's it's not even pe something people think about. So we were just about to do, and then we realized that, oh my, oh, thank goodness. Uh, everyone's parents had come to pick them up because, uh, like, two parents were friends. And they came up and picked everyone all at once. So pretty much everyone was gone and it was all over. All the awkwardness was over. Thank goodness. And after this party, we still do Festivus, actually. I just had a Festivus party this year, so I hope you know that the tradition carries on. And you know, thanks for watching. I'm sorry this video came out so late, and it's on this weird channel format, but if you are watching this, you are the MVP for getting this far. You are my favorite audience member, actually, even though there's several people that got this far. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope it, you know that it really does mean the world to me when you watch my videos and leave any sort of constructive criticism or, or like or anything like that. Anyways, I will not be doing a video in this format in the future. I will be telling funny stories. It, the second part wasn't really a funny story. It was just an ending to what was originally a funny story. I digress. I will be making some really funny videos. I'm going to be doing some prank calls eventually. I'm going to be doing some some challenges crap and, and stuff. So uh, if you want to, just subscribe. Yeah, you, you should do that. There'll be no stream.